This is it. We're doing this. We live this fairy tale life, but that doesn't mean that we haven't been through our trials too. For a long time now, we felt like we really, really need to share our stories. Hey guys. Hi. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Matt, and I'm Amber, and we have a plus three. Three darling little kids. I feel like ours is a story of finding happiness after heartache, and really, truly, I believe that we are living in the light at the end of the tunnel right now. We're here to give people hope, and here to help, and, and to show people that there is definitely happiness ahead. We've experienced extreme pain in our lives and joy in our lives. We wanted to be able to share our story and help other people who have experienced similar things that we have, um, particularly loss. In January of 2014, we had our third baby boy. There's nothing like being in labor and delivery unit with all these happy couples and you're the one that goes home empty handed. Um, the doctor came in and he just said, you know what, he has some major issues and in passing he had mentioned trisomy 18, um, which is something that even me as a nurse I had never really heard of before and I didn't really realize I why until afterward and I think it's just because babies with trisomy 18 don't make it to the NICU. Um, trisomy 18 is incompatible with life. Yeah, it was really hard. Um, we had his funeral and, and then, you know, as we started to heal, um, we started, well, I started first feeling like we needed to adopt. I just said, it's the grief, honey, like, you know, we'll get over this, we'll get through this, but, um, we can't replace Gabe, um, and that's, that's not the answer, it's the grief talking, and I kind of blew it off. And then that feeling kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger, and I just, I got to a point first where I knew that that's what we were supposed to do. Eventually, I, I felt like it was the right thing as well, and I, I felt like, you know, it's not just the grief talking, it's something that uh, we're really supposed to do, and we got excited about it. I had this dream about this little girl. She didn't look like the boys, but, but she was ours. And we, we were very open. We said, you know, we'll take any race, we'll take um, any gender, um, but deep down we knew because of this dream that we were gonna have a little girl uh, with bright blue eyes and she was gonna be ours. Fast forward, so we got approved and the next day, <laughs> which is totally not typical. The next day, um, Tori, our birth mom, contacted us. And anyway, so we of course had to Facebook stalk this girl and see who she was. <laughs> and so we pulled up a picture of her on Facebook and I turned to Matt and I said, that's her. That is, that is her. You know, she looks just like her. Those eyes, it's her. It was three and a half weeks later, um, she ended up having her. And what she gave us was just amazing. I have this love for her that is just, it runs bone deep. Her birth families have been so amazing in adopting our boys. Yeah. Um, they call them, you know, grandma and grandpa, and, and it just, it's just been such a great experience. They felt so familiar. Mm -hmm. She felt like I had known her forever. Um, and her, her family was just, it was so open and natural and easy. And um, it was weird. It was a weird experience. It was like we'd, we'd known them before. Mm -hmm. and it was just a peace. We feel like we were just meant to be family. It was always, it was always meant to be that way. We didn't just adopt a baby, we adopted a whole family. And, and that's how we feel. It's so natural and we love them like family and they're, they are, they're part of our family and we spend time with them and we, you know, go to family functions and they come to our family functions. And... So that is our story. We are lucky. We love these kiddos, huh? Are, 
so excited to start this vlog and tell you guys all about how we make it work and what daily life is like. So it's going to be great, huh? Mm -hmm. And all the funny things you guys say. And do. And do. Thanks for watching. Watching. And there's sister. Thanks for watching. Ready for bed? Yep. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, you're so squishy. Oh.